Well, we have one of the biggest high school basketball games of the year coming up tonight at Auburn High School. That's where we find 13 sports director Eric Graver. And Eric, this one can go a long way in deciding the winner of the Nick 10. Yeah, Derek, we got first place on the line here at Auburn High School. The Auburn Knights hosting the Guilford Vikings. Guilford undefeated in conference play this year, but Auburn only one conference loss. They lost in overtime over at Belvedere North a couple weeks ago, so they can make up some ground, take first place from the Nick 10 champs tonight with a home win over Guilford, but it's going to be a tough task for them. Yeah, let's start with the Auburn Knights. On the home court tonight, they always have the crowd rocking there. Uh, you got uh, the young guy, sophomore Amir Danforth. You got the senior leadership of Rakim Chaney. What stands out to you about, uh, about this group so far this year? Yeah, I mean, you really just touched on it right there, Rakim Chaney and Amir Danforth. But what we want to see from Auburn and what Brian Ott was saying last week when I was talking to him is just some more consistency from Auburn late in games. They've dropped three overtime games this year, so they're going to need to, I mean, you got to imagine this game's going to be close. Auburn's going to need to be able to close out a game. That's what Brian Ott wants to see. We'll see if they can do that tonight. Yeah, I remember Rob Chaney hitting a buzzer beater, or almost a buzzer beater a couple of years ago to, to win a game against Guilford. As for Guilford, the Vikings looking for a second straight uh, Nick 10 championship. What stands out uh, real quickly about them? Just our old athlete of the week, Malachi Johnson. He's been a great player. He was a big piece last year in his junior year. He has only gotten better from there. In this game, it's going to come down to either Rakim Chaney or Malachi Johnson, I think. The ball's going to be in their hands, and someone's going to have to step up and make a play late out here tonight. All right, should be up to the seniors. We'll uh, see. I have full highlights, of course, coming up tonight on 13 News at 10. We'll see you again tonight at 6, Eric.